Preparing for Surgery Checklist, Ready or Not? In this video, we'll explore some of the steps you can take before surgery to be better prepared and to make recovery easier. Any surgery can cause an upheaval in your life. The best way to counter this is to be prepared. Do as much as possible before surgery, so you can relax and focus on recovery afterwards. Consulting with your doctor, more than saying ah. Before your medical procedure, it's essential to have a consultation with your doctor to discuss any concerns or questions you may have. This is an opportunity to gain clarity on the procedure, your recovery, and any medications you may need to take. During the consultation, you should ask your doctor questions such as how long you will need to stay in the hospital or if it's an outpatient surgery. You should also inquire about your expected recovery time, when you will be able to drive, and what activities you will be unable to do after surgery. If you take any medications, including over-the-counter meds and supplements, you should discuss them with your doctor. Find out if you should stop taking any medications, such as blood pressure or heart medications, before the procedure. This is also an excellent time to see if your doctor will call in your prescriptions so you can pick them up before surgery. Insurance, the necessary evil or thank goodness you have it? Before undergoing any medical procedure, it is essential to understand your insurance coverage. You may assume that all doctors and hospitals associated with your in-network hospital are also in-network, but that may not always be the case. Always double-check with your insurance company to avoid any surprises. It is not uncommon to receive bills from out-of-network doctors or labs, even if you were treated at an in-network facility. It is also important to know your deductible for both in-network and out-of-network services. You should confirm whether you have reached your out-of-pocket maximum or if you still have to pay out-of-pocket until you reach it. You will likely be asked to pay any deductible you haven't reached upfront before the surgical procedure. In addition, make sure your insurance has pre-approved your surgical procedure and hospital stay. Find out how many days post-op have been approved for your hospital stay. Important documents, I don't want to think about them. As you prepare for surgery, it's important to have certain legal documents in place, completed, and updated. In this section, we will discuss some of the essential documents that you should have in place. Will A will is a legal document that outlines how your assets and property should be distributed after your death. It is essential to have a will in place to ensure that your wishes are carried out and to avoid any disputes among your loved ones. You can update your will at any time, as long as you are mentally competent. Revocable Living Trust a revocable living trust is a written agreement that designates someone to manage your property while you are still alive. Advanced Directive and Durable Power of Attorney for Health Care An Advanced Directive and Durable Power of Attorney for Health Care are crucial documents that outline your wishes regarding health care decisions. They allow you to appoint someone to make health care decisions on your behalf if you become unable to make them for yourself. Financial Power of Attorney a financial power of attorney allows you to appoint someone to take care of financial matters if you are unable to do so. This document is crucial in ensuring that your finances are managed according to your wishes. What about you? Yes, you? Preparing yourself for surgery is essential to ensure a smooth and successful recovery. It's normal to feel nervous or anxious before surgery, but it's important to face those emotions head on. If you feel the need, be sure to talk to someone, be it a family member, friend, spouse, clergy, or therapist. Don't try to squash those feelings and emotions or pretend they don't exist, that won't help the situation. Getting enough rest before surgery is crucial, as you may experience pain and discomfort afterward, which can disrupt your sleep. Eating healthy foods is also essential for preparing your body for surgery. Make sure to get your last meal in before the medical staff instructs you to stop eating or drinking, usually at midnight before surgery. It's important to note that smoking and drinking can have negative effects on your surgery and recovery. If you smoke or drink, consider quitting before surgery to improve your lung function and blood pressure. Last but not least, don't forget to buy products that will help you after your surgery when you're on the road to recovery. Other ways to prepare. Transportation, before your surgery, it's important to arrange transportation to and from the hospital. You won't be able to drive yourself home after the procedure, so it's best to have a friend or family member take you. Also, be aware that many health facilities won't allow for you to use Uber or other similar modes of transportation. Caretaker, after your surgery, you may feel groggy and may need assistance. It's best to have someone stay with you for a few days to help you with daily tasks. 
This person can help you with meals, medication, and any other needs you may have. Meals, to make your recovery easier, consider preparing and freezing some meals before your surgery. Another option is to have meals delivered to you. This way, you won't have to worry about cooking while you recover and can focus on getting better. Medications, speak to your doctor about any prescriptions you may need before your surgery, including pain medication. Ask if they can be called in beforehand so you can pick them up before your surgery. This way, you won't have to worry about stopping at the pharmacy on the way home from the hospital. Pets, don't forget to arrange for a pet sitter for your animals. Your pets will need someone to feed them and take care of them while you're away. If possible, have the pet sitter meet your pets beforehand so they can get familiar with each other. During this meeting, provide the pet sitter with any necessary instructions for your pet's care. If you use a pet sitting service, consider installing a camera. This will allow you to monitor your pets while you're away and ensure that they're being taken care of properly. Additionally, it can help you keep an eye on your home and ensure that everything is okay while you're recovering. Frequently Asked Questions How can you naturally prepare your body for surgery? Preparing your body naturally for surgery can help improve your overall health and reduce the risk of complications during and after surgery. Some ways to prepare your body naturally for surgery include eating a healthy diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and lean protein, staying hydrated by drinking plenty of water, getting regular exercise and staying active, quitting smoking and avoiding alcohol, taking supplements recommended by your doctor, such as vitamin C and zinc. What should you eat leading up to surgery to prepare your body? Eating healthy and balanced meals leading up to surgery can help reduce the risk of complications and improve your overall health. Remember to find out what time you need to stop eating before surgery. Some foods to consider eating before surgery include lean protein, such as chicken, fish, or tofu, whole grains, such as brown rice or quinoa, fruits and vegetables, such as berries, leafy greens and carrots, healthy fats, such as avocado or nuts. It's important to avoid eating heavy or fatty foods before surgery, as they can slow down digestion and increase the risk of complications. How can you mentally prepare for surgery? Mental preparation is just as important as physical preparation when it comes to surgery. Some ways to mentally prepare for surgery include talking to your doctor about any fears or concerns you may have, practicing relaxation techniques, such as deep breathing or meditation, visualizing a successful outcome, surrounding yourself with a support system of family and friends, staying positive and focusing on your recovery. Conclusion In conclusion, preparing for surgery can be overwhelming, but with proper preparation, you can make the experience less stressful and ensure a successful recovery. I hope with watching preparing for surgery checklist, ready or not? You gain some insight into some steps to take before your surgery so you can have a more relaxing, productive recovery. Wishing you the best for a successful surgery. Thank you for watching. To read the full article, go to www.livingyourseniorlife.com. The link can be found in the video description.